What is going on guys, Bisectatron here and welcome to today's video. We're focusing on queen walks and queen charges, both how to identify a good base to do it on and where to do it, and then how to execute it in terms of the funnel and stuff like that. So this should be a very helpful video, one that is definitely in high demand from a lot of viewers. So I wanted to get this out there for you guys. Um, taking a look at Town Hall 12s like this one and also Town Hall uh, 11s and 10s as well. But we're just going to go through by example. That's the best way to talk this uh, talk this through is to show you guys some good examples. And taking a look at this first base, and by the way, you might want to pause the video at times when a base comes up. Think about how you would do a queen walk or a queen charge uh, based on the army composition you see at the bottom of the screen. Uh, but looking at this first base, one thing uh, you want to notice right away is how there's this one... Uh, layer of defenses then dead space behind it that's always a good place to start a queen walk because uh, this dead space it prevents there from being a bunch of defenses right behind that first layer that's going to shoot on your queen as she's doing her walk it also makes it so that if you clear out that first layer um, you're kind of clearing out an entire wing of a base because of that dead space uh, the other defenses are pushed further back in the base and also it's much easier to funnel because there's no risk of her trying to target something uh, directly behind these defenses that are protected by the wall because um, we know that the first or the, the next defense is pretty far set back as a result of that dead space. So here we go with a P.E.K.K.A funnel. Very interesting, a bit of a troop space investment. Um, with the wizard there, it's similar to an electro dragon funnel, um, but gets an archer tower for it. Maybe not the best value. There is a Tesla farm there, which would have been nice to get, but the P.E.K.K.A is not going to quite get that far. So. Um, maybe could have got it done with a few less troops, like a giant and a wizard or something. But either way, a good funnel. And then, like I said, it's very easy to do these um, these walks when there's a dead space that's kind of horizontal like this with a layer, or sorry, a compartment that's horizontal with a layer of dead space behind it. Then comes in with this nice wall wrecker. Basically, um, another good thing about this is there's no like air defenses back here they're going to shoot down the healers the only air defense is right there it does get a few shots off but not enough to kill any single of those healers um and then nice poison on the cc that wall record gets very far into the base i believe there's going to be like valks in it or something that'll pop out get a little bit of value before they go down actually maybe an ice golem it looks like uh, which is also pretty good there uses the king on that tesla farm the miners coming in uh, so what we're going to see in this video is there's some key things that are, you want to look for uh, when trying to do a queen walk or a queen charge. One thing, um, you never want to walk across an air defense that your queen can't reach because as the queen cuts across, the healers will come in range of it. You also don't want to do these queen walks where there's expos and other point defense in similar locations because they'll be getting doing damage on her, forcing rages or the ability. Meanwhile, she can't actually reach those defenses herself. So you want to avoid that situation as well and stick to the point where you're getting maximum value for minimum investment. That's what queen walks and queen charges are all about. So here, the healers are going to switch, but that's just fine because uh, the queen's okay on her own. Getting some nice value uh, on these miners here. We'll fast forward um, because the important part for us is already over here. Um, so very nice attack. And uh, we will move on to a Town Hall 11, Town Hall 10 examples. Uh, but it, it is fitting that I'm doing this video. My last live attack failed because of a, a, a pretty poor funnel on my queen for the queen walk. So I think it's a very important thing that a lot of people struggle with, and I, including myself at times, uh, trying to create a nice walk. So here is another good example. And a lot of bases, especially at Town Hall 11, it seems, have kind of these openings, these gaps, and they're great places to do queen walks. Um, I should have paused a little earlier, but um, you'll notice that, okay, there is the single inferno, so right away you're thinking, oh, well, we can't do a queen walk anywhere near this side of the base because there's a single inferno there. But when you think about it, um, she's not going to come in range of that inferno for a little while. Even if she targets these two buildings, she'll actually still be out of range of the single inferno. Um, it'll, it'll take her to kind of take an angle or kind of come in towards the air sweeper before the single inferno will actually lock onto her. And otherwise, there's some pretty good value in this moat if she is able to walk in it. The air defense will get taken out, so the healers will be, will be fine. Um, there's these defenses back here that will eventually start to do some damage to her that she can't reach um, 
I think these three, but there's also some great value for her to get if she walks into that moat. And what the attacker is going to do here is use the king over on the left, then send miners at about 10 o'clock on this base. And you'll just see that, you know, to the naked eye, um, for lack of a better term, I guess, the uh, there doesn't appear to be a whole lot of value for this queen walk. It seems like your queen is going to die. She can't reach a lot of this stuff. But actually, you're getting some pretty good defensive value. And more importantly, uh, the, the angle she's taking is p making a nice tight path for the miners coming in from that top left on the base here. So here comes the king. Would like to see a few wizards behind the king to take out those cannons. I think the value is definitely there. Uh, makes it a little easier on the miners, but that's fine. Also has a freeze for the single inferno, probably just in case it locks on to the, uh, to the queen to make sure she stays alive, but also takes it off the wall wrecker, um, which will make it last a little bit longer as well. And the queen's just going to keep walking through here, gets the, helps with the eagle, um, she'll help with the king as well. So there's actually a lot of value she's going to be getting along her walk, uh, even though at first it looks like, okay, there's not that much value to be gotten. Um, so she continues to walk here, uh, locked onto the king now, and the multi will eventually start to lock onto her, and I think the healers even, but she can last quite a while, still has the ability, a nice uh, tome there, and these miners just crush this base. Um, so really, the fact that the end game isn't that great for the queen walk is not important, and that's kind of a theme you might notice uh, as you start to do more of these attacks. It's okay if the queen walk doesn't necessarily have a nice, like, uh, good finish to it. As long as the value's gotten initially, especially if it's like a minor attack or something like that, there's going to be enough troops to kind of finish off the base. Uh, the more important thing here was that she was creating the funnel and that she got that very nice value initially, helping with the eagle, the king, and a bunch of defenses up at the top of the base there. So one heal spell not even used. Very nice attack. Um, we will fast forward, have I think at least one more Town Hall 11 to take a look at today, or maybe not. We're on to Town Hall 10s already. Um, okay, so this next one is one of my attacks, and believe it or not, it's the Falcon. Um, let me pause it right here and uh, kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on. So looking at this base, generally speaking, you want to stay away from air defenses, especially air defenses that are kind of in tricky positions that the queen can't reach immediately. Um, generally speaking, you want to stay away from infernos unless you can directly charge one of them, or there's other exceptions to that. But um, sometimes the easiest and simplest value is staying away from a lot of those buildings and also expos because of the range and the extra damage they do compared to other point defense. So right away, a great place to queen walk is the top of this base, which has good defensive value that I want to get, you know, wizard towers, archer towers, cannon. Um, but doesn't have a whole lot of those things that are, are very anti-queen walk. So right here, again, this dead space um, tends to help for queen walks. Dead space equals good queen walks. Just keep that in your mind because it helps with the funnel in this case. All I have to do is take out that first layer. There's nothing in the second layer that's going to pull my queen the wrong way. Now a Tesla does pop, and for some reason that wizard just couldn't sit back and target that elixir collector. He had to run up for some reason. So what I'm going to do here is right now it's a little tricky, but I realize if I drop my queen right here, this natural two tile gap between that elixir collector and this elixir storage is going to make it so my queen's actually going to continue to go the right way. It's going to uh, prevent her from actually targeting that elixir storage, uh, which is very helpful. So right here is kind of the moment of truth, but she goes the right way. And from here on out, everything's just going to continue to pull her to the right. So she'll be fine. Um, reason this was a good walk is there's this cannon which she can reach. So really she's not leaving up a whole lot of defenses. If the, the wall extended out further to where this other compartment does, it would have been a much less valuable walk. But um, this way, creating a funnel and uh, able to get some good value. And you can see that the reason this all works is that once the push comes through with the wall record like this, everything that was on this side of the base is now reachable. The bowlers can bounce off the... Uh, um, the clan castle onto that archer tower, but besides that, everything else is reachable from this path I'm taking. So that's what you want to look for in a queen walk, is you're taking out everything on a certain side of a base, so that the uh, whatever the rest of your attack is, everything's accounted for. You're not leaving stuff up on that same side, uh, otherwise there's not as much value for sure. So everything comes through here, um, healers are going to switch, 
giant bombs, but they don't do much damage to the Valks there. And now we're just pushing through this base. So we will fast forward because um, this is just the general Falcon uh, plan out here in front of you guys. Um, go times four. And you can see here, things start to peter out a little bit, but these hogs, wizards, uh, queen's still up. Uh, sorry for that notification, forgot to turn them off again. Hopefully we don't get any more. Um, I got a few texts and a few videos back, and I know you guys were quick to, uh, to reference those in the comments. But let's keep moving right along here with number 13. Um, this one is a nice queen walk hog attack, and um, I guess the baby dragon kind of gives it away. But this was, I'll go ahead and just let it play. Uh, this was a queen charge, and you can see here, because this archer tower is set back two tiles, compared to this other archer tower, it's creating a nice gap for the queen. So the baby dragon takes out these buildings and you can see there's nothing even close to the queen on the left that's gonna pull her the incorrect way because these uh, buildings are set uh, back from the buildings up in front of them. So look for these natural gaps. It makes it a lot easier on the funnel because then you take out uh, a few buildings and you don't only get the gap from those buildings but you get the gap that was between those buildings and whatever's next to them. Uh, so here comes the queen, wall wrecker is down, things get a little tricky if you're coming directly at air defenses and inferno towers, especially the multi because those are all things that can take out healers, but fortunately the queen locks onto the inferno before the CC troops, gets it taken out to protect the uh, her healers here, um, actually doesn't get them right away but th there she goes, she uh, she gets the, uh, the inferno there and the air defenses are okay because the angle is such that they're not going to uh, lock on to the healers. A nice, uh, like two hogs there actually to take out that air defense, just keep the queen uh, from having to stray that way. And also, right now the healers would have been ta being taken out if not for those hogs. So a very good adjustment. And um, the queen is still alive, has that golemite helping tank for her. Um, stepping up, getting more buildings, so good value. And from here on out, it's just about healing these hogs as they go through. We'll go times four. Um, Queen's gonna finish things off very nicely. Now in a hog attack, in a Laloon attack, some of these other types of attacks, it does matter a little more the uh, ultimate like end pathing of your queen because oftentimes you need her for cleanup if there's not enough time left. So just think if you have a long queen walk, you typically want her to stay up at the end, where if it's a shorter queen walk, if you're going to have more time, maybe if you're starting a minor attack very quickly after you drop your queen, it's less important if she stays up at the end and more important that she just gets some good value initially and also help, helps with that funnel. Okay, uh, two more attacks. This one, we're going to get a queen charge Laloon in the mix for you guys. Um, this uh, queen walk I actually don't quite remember as well. Um, I did watch this attack uh, pretty recently, but kind of uh, can't quite remember how this worked out. Okay, now I, I remember. It's, uh, it's a queen charge coming pretty soon here. So once again, nice natural gap between these two buildings. That means that if um, takes out these, the queen steps up for this, then she's already going to kind of funnel herself because that one gold storage is so far away. So again, another natural funnel that you want to look for in bases um, healers are far enough back that the multi shouldn't be able to reach them for a while unless she kind of cuts at a very sharp angle here but I believe she will stay away so the healers are good here comes the king which is a great thing to use on the other side of the uh, the queen walk if you're pushing her into the base this is going to prevent her from continuing to walk around the outside uh, right here actually everything starts targeting walls which is kind of funny because the funnel was actually very good so a few wall breakers to kind of help with everything and these healers just out of range of that inferno. King coming in and getting some value as well, which is always nice to see. The wizards creating the funnel on the outside and the poison on the CC troops. Um, I think the intention was for the queen to go into the first compartment with the expo, but the CC actually pulls her a little farther down than intended, which is okay. The defensive queen will still get taken out once she steps up. You can see the range there. Actually, maybe even better because this way the healers will continue to uh, evade that multi inferno. And she couldn't have reached that multi inferno anyway from the compartment that she would have been in. So she continues going to the outside here. Um, 
I guess I was wrong. She actually doesn't get the other defensive queen taken out. So things get a little bit dicey here, but starts the Lalo anyway, which is the right thing to do. Um, no point waiting and kind of wasting time. At least giving a chance for the three star. And of course, because I'm showing this, it actually did end up working out. Um, so the stone slammer actually uh, opening up a bunch of walls for the queen as well, which is kind of cool as it moves through. Uh, good spell placement, everything moving along here. Has a heal spell for the back end, being very patient, saving it for that other multi with the two wizard towers. Great place to use a heal. We'll go times two here um, as these uh, these balloons finish up. I think got a few drops on the queen or something because she got very low. Then these minions and the queen herself will finish uh, the defensive queen off and everything is good. Nice attack there, uh, good adjustments, and we'll take a look at one more. Save the best for last in this video. This was a very cool queen charge, um, a little bit old-fashioned in a way. And um, this was also a very unique funnel for the queen charge, so very cool stuff to see. But queen goes down, um, right away you're thinking, okay, where is she going to go? I mean, it's kind of dropping her right in the middle of a, of a side of the base here. So you're kind of wondering how the funnel is going to work. Drops down like three or four hogs with a wizard, and that's actually for funneling because right here she steps up for that cannon, but now the entire side of this these two buildings is down, meaning it's going to force her to go towards the top and then has the wall breakers with the rage there. Second time's a charm on this one. Opens up that compartment uh, for the queen to enter right here. The air defense is close, but not in like too close. If it was slid over a few tiles, such that um, I think it would have been like two tiles closer, then the queen still wouldn't be able to reach it, but the healers would be in much uh, more danger. So this is going to be okay. Um, she'll continue to step up. The, the key things here, the multi-inferno is reachable, plus the defensive queen, plus the expo, and there's nothing that's like uh, going to target the queen, but also continue to stay out of range of her. I like the uh, the few miners there on the uh, air defense. I guess the miners are being deployed there anyway, so it all worked out. But got the uh, air defense down before it did too much damage to the healers. Then we have a baby dragon tanking and more wall breakers. Check this out. More wall breakers to let the queen continue to come through. Uh, very, very cool stuff here. I think she might go down to this two-point defense. Uh, but stone slammer coming in, the king, miners... Uh, just a very, very uh, nice attack, and I think she's going to go down right here to this uh, expo, but the value has already been gotten. The healers will switch here, help out the miners a little bit before those air skellies get to them, and um, this is pretty much GG. You can see uh, the king is down, but a few of his barbarians are still up, and there's just not that many defenses left up on this base. So we'll go times four. That'll pretty much do it for this video. Um, hope you guys were able to learn a little bit just from these example attacks. Queen walks, queen charges. Um, look for natural funnels. That's a big point I want to make, as you guys saw in this video. When there's already a two-tile gap between buildings, it makes it much easier. You almost can just drop your queen in a very strategic location and do very little to, of actual uh, f funneling with your troops. The funnel is natural by how the base is set up. Um, stay away from single infernos, air defenses, uh, in bad positions. But as we saw, there's some creative ways to also deal with them. So before this video gets too long, I'm going to sign off. Let me know if you have any questions, anything to add to this video. You can drop it in the comments section below. And I will see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.